It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. The door's just gone. And here's a box of beer. A really, really excited Real Ale Craft Beer this morning. This is Hawkstone Lager. Jeremy Clarkson's brand new lager from the Diddley Squat Farm. Or the malted barley come from the Diddley Squat Farm. And the beer has been produced by the Cotswolds Brewing Company. Uh, it's 4.8% ABV, a premium lager that has been brewed for longer. Now, we all know that lager means to store. So the longer you store a lager, the better it's going to be. I'm very excited by this. Without further ado then, black bottle cap, 330 milliliter bottle. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Lovely carbonation in the bottle. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is a stout glass or an IPA glass or a very special beer glass. I'm using this today. This is my favourite glass of all time. And I'm using it today to pour this lager, to use it for this lager. For a very good reason. And we'll get into all of that in a moment. But first of all, let's concentrate on the beer. So beer in the glass, we got a very small one finger, thin head, good levels of carbonation on the glass. It's a crystal clear, amber coloured lag and exactly what you would, you would expect really from a good quality lager. Rolling the beer around in the glass, you can see the little bit you can see how the, the, there's a little bit of kind of always when you pour a beer you can see a good quality beer will, will leave a little bit of liquor on the edge of the glass there which it has done let's get the aroma it smells good it smells good a little bit of sweetness a little bit of kind of grassy kind of stinging nettle Aromas from the hops. I hope Jeremy Clarkson gets to see this. The reason being is because I follow Top Gear. I've watched Top Gear for a long time. I, I said I'll get into all that in a moment. But there's an app to his kind of pulling a car apart that I really like. Uh, and I hope that he gets to see this because I'm pulling his beer apart. I'm a beer reviewer. He's a car reviewer. Let's show him how it's done, shall we? I really like that kind of stinging nettle aroma to the beer. Now, some of you will know, some of you won't know, that in the Darwin tree of life, the stinging nettle and the hop are cousins. So what you'll often find, especially with traditional lager hops, is, is that, that that kind of hoppiness might be slightly confused with a, a stinging nettle aroma. It smells fantastic. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. What I want from a lager is a certain degree of crispness, a refreshing crispness that does a few things for you. It gives you that kind of urge to drink more of it. The crisper the lager, the more you're gonna to wanna to drink it. Also, it'll kind of just naturally kind of revitalize you. Many a times, I've, I've, I've been a pub manager, I've worked in pubs for, 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 for years, and the amount of times I've seen people come in after a weary long day, perch up on the bar and go, oh, just give me that pint, you know? You, you hand them that pint and you can physically, physically see them. The, the shoulders that, that were slouched over are, are now kind of 
coming back to where they were when they first started their, their day in the in the morning there. And and there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. I think a good quality beer will re rejuvenate you. It will give you that kind of mile per hour, that extra kind of oomph in your life. And going back to flavour, the beginning to the beer, there's a good balance to this beer. You've got a nice level of sweetness to begin with, a nice level of bitterness on the back end to help balance the beer. Like a tightrope walker. Sweetness over here, bitterness over here, walking that tightrope. The more you can get that kind of balance right, the more, again, you're going to get people to enjoy the beer and want another one. I've sat with many brewers over the years, and the biggest compliment you can give a brewer is, I'll have another one. Never mind about... <clears throat> this is the greatest beer in the world or, or giving you giving them the, your reasons as to why you think their beer is the best in the world just tell a brewer i'd like another one i'd drink another one that is music to a brewer's ears and i would drink i'm glad i got 12 bottles actually 12 bottles for the weekend we do our stone crow virtual pub on a friday night i've now got some beer to do the virtual pub with But the balance, really nice, crisp, sweet, slightly kind of crackery bread malts coming through, followed by a stinging nettle, probably Styrian Goldens, and some of those lovely German. Let's have a look at the ingredients, shall we? Uh, water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. Uh, contains gluten, 4.8% ABV, so they haven't put the, the hops on the side of the bottle. Um, here we go then, hewn from the mineral rich bedrock of the Cotswold Hills, the Hawkstone, a Neolithic standing stone which gives our lager its name has stood for generations. The Cotswold brash soil in which it rests is hard and unforgiving, but for those who persist it yields malting barley of unusually high quality, ideal for brewing. After harvest our master brewer painstakingly and method. Oof, this is a difficult one. Meti meticulously, yes, it combines the barley with select hops, yeast and the purest water possible before allowing it to mature, mature for up to six weeks, during which time it develops its distinctively clean flavour. Hard to make, easy to drink. Great, this. Great, I really like it. I really, really like it. Um, fantastic effort. Hawkstone lager. It's a really good quality lager. It's got all the balance you need. It's got fantastic flavours of that lovely malt that they were talking about on the side of the bottle with a lovely bitter hop finish. Yes, I'd have another one. Let's rate it. It looks good. It smells good. It tastes really good. I've had beers from the uh, Cotswold Brewing Company before. They've always been very, very good. I've also had some Chadlington Ales, which are coming to the channel very shortly. They're Oxford Gold and Oxford Blonde and, and, and some of their other beers. So there's actually, where, where Chadlington is, where, where the Diddley Squat Farm shop is, there's actually a brewery in the village, but it's probably not big enough to supply and produce this Hawkstone Lager, hence them using the Cotswold Brewing Company. So my rating for this, yes, I'd like another. It's a 9 out of 10 from me, 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!